There we are. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chaosoid. Today's agents of chaos are myself, Squiddy, and Kiwi. Oh, I'm muted. Kiwi can't hear me at all. Can you hear me now, my dear? There we are. Just saying welcome. Today's agents of chaos are myself and Kiwi. And yeah, already a chaotic start. How are you? <laughs> I thought I was being subtle. I thought I'll just like um, tap on my headset and see if he gets it. But then he was just like, oh, no, I'm muted. So, yeah, I, I always love watching you mess up on my life. So I'm grand. I have a coffee. I've just had a croissant. Happy days. How are you, my dear? I am very good. And I, I, I'm excited for these grand finals. I think we're going to have something very interesting. You know, what? I'm going to have to take these off because they make so much of a rap <laughs> from my microphone. <laughs> Yeah, we've got got an exciting uh, playoffs and grand finals. And I'll be honest, I've thought since it was announced, it's on the Saturday. So obviously tonight, or going to, well, like Saturday UK time, right? Because they've always said, oh, it's the 25th. There's some games on the 25th. There's one at 2 a.m. and one at 3.30 a.m. in the UK. It's the 26th. In the UK, it is, yeah, because it's at 2 a.m. Oh, oh, so I've seen 25th, and I'm like, I've seen all the games happening on the Saturday, but they've only been like like an hour and a half. I'm like, that's unfair to have the biggest game of their season and only an hour and a half to pl do it. No, yeah, right. it's not. <laughs> they have a, a whole day to prepare. So uh, I, I think that's, should we start at the beginning of these playoffs? Yeah, I'm I'm going to be straight up front honest. I have been absolutely manic. <laughs> so I've only watched little bits of certain games. Um my you already know my heart's broken. Chengdu Ch Chengdu just why? Why? I mean, it was close ish. I mean, we'll get to that in a minute. I think commiserations must be firstly to Washington and Philly because they were the two teams first out and I was actually watching the highlights of the Philly game, and I'm like, it never happens for Philly. Like, they must be the only team that's reached playoffs every single season, and then have never gotten further than just being there, really. I feel like Philly is suffering from a worse version of the New York curse. Cause like well, yeah, New York don't even get, get there. <laughs> Yeah, New York didn't even get that. They always get that, which is amazing. But then, like, always the bridesmaid. So yeah, sorry, and, Philly. And and they got everyone together. Like Shockwave, I thought was playing well. Like an alarm as well, especially. But yeah, Philly just weren't there. I mean, what they lost three one to the Gladiators, but Gladiators did look good. Like they have delivered this season. Like, they yeah, started I saw off the poorly. Gladiators as a dark horse. I think I saw them as one of them that that could easily have won it. So again, mm. a big shock that they're out. Yeah, like they lot like Philly lost to the Gladiators, which I think is fair enough. Gladiators just turned up the notch going into these play-ins and playoffs. But uh, they then, I mean, the shock. We'll get. They've, yeah, no, I was about to say, let's skip back. No, let's talk about it. Shock have just been, they've hung on. Three, They lost 3-0 to Shanghai. And let's be honest, Shanghai looks so strong right now. Yeah. It is scary how good they are. Oh, but, they're already through to the finals, right? Yeah, they straight through. 3-0 against the uh, Shock. 3-1 against Gladiators, and then 3-1 against Dallas. Like, that is absolutely incredible. Is it a sign of things to come? I hope not, for my predictions. Only one they haven't played is Rain, so maybe Rain knock them... Well, I say knock them out, but maybe Rain win, which isn't <laughs> something I want, but... No. At this point, who can? Who can beat Shanghai? The Shock. Yes, they're cut. They're, yes, they're, they're get scraping through these matches, but they're still winning. You can't. No, you can't. And they lost against Shanghai. You yeah, can't and scrape through a match 
against the Shanghai Dragons when they look this good. You just can't they, they sweeping have... through and hanging on are not things you'd use no, to describe but... winners of the Overwatch League. That, no, that's what they need to do right now because they're not there yet. If they get through they to Shanghai, to if they get <laughs> through to Shanghai, if they get through to Shanghai, I think they will adju make adjustments and potentially they could be on for that 3 P. I No, I've said it from the beginning. I've said it from the off-season. Shock are not getting the 3 P. Now, I am going to admit, I am starting to sweat a little. Like, every round that goes by, they only I'm have starting to get nervous. Three, game, three games to win to win the Overwatch League. I, I am starting to get very nervous, but I said it before, I'm going to die on this hill. They're not going to get the three P. All right, fair enough. And thank you, Nika. The setup is amazing. Ah, oh, but she has no sound. Are you at work? Is it just Nika that has no sound? Can everybody else hear us? Sheldina, you there? I hope so. We'll find out. Uh, but I mean, okay. It's hilarious. Question. All right. Question. Who would you rather yeah. win, Atla Atlanta or Shock? I hate you. Say I hate they you. say whoever wins oh. that game because that's the game up at two a.m. this morning. They beat Dallas and go through to Shanghai, and whoever that is, they win. Who would you rather have it as? You know damn well how I feel about Atlanta. Precisely. That's why I've asked the question. <laughs> oh, it's a team I don't like versus an organization I find scummy. Um, so I'm going to... Oh, I, I hate you for making me say this, but I'm going to say Shark. I really hate you right now. Who would you pick in that matchup? Can I, I I would say Shock. I would rather have you the shock, shock win. Can Atlanta and Shock both lose tonight in the same game? Unfortunately not. <laughs> Please. That would be really nice. If they just knock each other out, that would be yeah. great. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about your favorite team. You're the number one fan. Chengdu. They uh, I I think they could have gone further. They wrote my heart, Squiddy. What was that C9? Why? Why did they do that to me? I had such high hopes. I mean, how, how much of it was a C9? I, I think it was only one map. It was only one map. Yeah. Um, they, they, they got outplayed. They played really well, but it wasn't enough. And you can't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do Shut more up. on Farmer. <laughs> Shut up, Sheldini. <laughs> no, that's my fault. <laughs> You can't, like, ask for anything more than that. Mm. And nobody would have wanted it for them more than they did. Um, it's just sad. I would have liked to have seen them gone all the way. Mm. Mainly so I could have been like, ha ha, I was right all the way through it. And that's not the right reason for wanting a team to win, is it? So No, it is. That's a fair enough reason. That's, I think, that's fair. I think, I, to be fair, I do think Sheldon is right. Leave showed completely why he is MVP of the season. Like... Without leave, I don't think Chengdu would have got this far. They may not even been in playoffs. Ooh, Actually, no, they would have been. No, they would have been in playoffs. They were. <laughs> let, let's let's be honest. Like, if we look at the East region, it could have been Seoul. It was either like Seoul, Philly, Spark, or Chengdu. Because Shanghai. New York were close. New York were close. Oh yeah, they were. But I no Shanghai. No, uh, Chengdu were definitely above sh New York. Okay. I'm just thinking of the teams that got into the play-ins and playoffs. Because Chengdu knock out Seoul. No, that was Philly. Cheng yeah. Chengdu automatically qualified. Oh yeah. Of course but I'm say what I'm postulating is that without leave, they may not have been in that playoff spot and would have had to have fight for. Um, probably Philly for it. For for that spot. Yeah, because Seoul yeah. would have then been the uh, team. Like Leaf definitely shows why he's mm. season MVP. Like I've seen a lot of like he's it, got a lot of hate online for this, and has he? I don't. Yeah, like 
if you look at some of the comments on like Twitter, on the obviously it's Twitter, so take everything with like a full beach word. I'm gonna have a look at this. But like a lot of people, Instagram, I think I saw it on, are really salty about this. And then um, a lot of them are saying like fearless, handbin, think people like that. I think the thing is, to be MVP, I don't think it's 100% about you as a player i think being you as a person and a personality kind of comes into it as well so not only is leave like one hell of a player and he proves it every time even if they don't win he's still a standout but he's got the personality to go with it as well like you can't help but like him the same way that you couldn't help but like jonak and flatter mm. it th there's a pattern here so like everybody being salty towards leave on social media like shush zip it like guy deserves it leave him be let him have his moment oh yeah i mean an obvious answer could, would have been fear like a team on a player on the team that has done the best like the dallas or shanghai but yeah leave has he he's done well i was about to say done a michael jordan he hasn't because he hasn't won them a championship but that le enough. that level of impact definitely in uh yeah. for for chengdu uh yeah let's uh, i was about to say, let, we're just skipping all over the place gladiators they had a shocking start to the season yeah everyone was okay. writing them off but then everything's just come together for them as they needed it and yeah. i it's a shame they didn't go further. I think Atlanta, unfortunately, are that dark horse. <laughs> well, that's why when we had to do um, a, like an Overwatch-related like awards show elsewhere, <laughs> we <laughs> I did not know how to word that. Oh no! I was like, "What the <laughs> hell?" Are oh yeah, we can what? swear. What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I forgot we can swear now. The golden spanners, the golden spanners that we did over on the Lynch other channel, Bitfire Fan Association channel. Um, I gave the LA Gladiators my comeback of the year because even mm. though it wasn't a player and it wasn't a particular match, they had been so hyped up, and then nothing. And then yeah. halfway through the season, they were like, "Okay, we're here. We've shown up, guys. We've woken up." So yeah, I gave. I gave we've switched our monitors season. on. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very sad that it mm. ended like that for them. But I think most of the teams that are there deserve to be there. The only one I would disagree with is mo possibly Washington. They just got wiped. Yeah, but they, Who? Like, it's one of those, they made it there. So obviously they deserve to be there. Yeah, I mean, who could have, hang on, let me look at the tables. I'm trying to find out who could have been there instead of them who could have taken washington's spot yeah because I, i'm i'm it, the the teams that are in my head it, it could have been like houston or boston are like the only other teams right i i thought right i genuinely had a brain moment earlier on where i thought a brain houston moment had gone, <laughs> yeah like that exe is stop running moment <laughs> I, I thought houston had gone through and I'd forgotten about the shock, so I was like, who's left? I feel like, Shanghai, they... Dallas, Rain, is it Houston? And I was like, oh, that'd be quite cool. Then I was like, oh, fuck, it's the shock. Yeah, it, it was between Washington and Houston, and Washington won out 3-2. Right. Was it a close 3-2? That's harsh. It was, it was alternating between Houston winning, Washington, like, each of them winning on, like, their own map pick, and then... Washington won on Houston's last out pick, um, pick of Busan. That makes sense. Could the Outlaws have done better? Could they have? Because yeah. could <laughs> could <laughs> Houston? <laughs> no, like uh, uh, compared to Washington, because Washington played and Dallas Atlanta. and then played Atlanta. Could they have done better than losing three one to Dallas and three nil to Washington? I think so. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I think so. I think even if they'd lost, I think the games would have been closer. Mm. I do think Houston robbed themselves in that game against Washington, and they should have been there. Mm. And that makes me sad, but 
Yeah. It is we're, what it is. We're down is. to the final four now. We yeah. have one of our finalists confirmed. And we've had our awards as well, so we know that Leave is MVP. Uh, Pelican of the Atlanta Rain. Well deserved. You and Cam voted for him as Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. And then Coach Rush. Coach Rush is Coach of the Year, right? Hang on, let me have a look. Let's go to News of the Overwatch League. Coach, Coach Rush is Dallas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Sparkle as well, winning the Dennis Hall. I, I can never pronounce Hevelka award. Oh, Sparkle, nice. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, but whoever's been doing the production, and I have had nothing but amazing things to say about the production team over the last two seasons. But whoever has been doing the encore production, They're it's nice. been really bad. It's been really bad. Like, how do you mean? Um, Co Coach Rush was giving the he's like little speech for Rookie of the Year in a live interview with Danny, and they they cut it, but they didn't cut the audio, so you could still hear him talking, but they cut the graphic away. Oh. And they just had the, you know, like they have the lo-fi bits in between games. They just had that, and I was like, what's going on? And that might have just been on the point. live. That might have been on the live. Dude, I, well, I didn't watch the live, did I? But there was another point where someone else was giving an interview, and they cut to the, you know, like the YouTube thumbnail. Yeah. They, they cut to that and just kept it there throughout this interview, and I was like, what, what is happening? And they just doubled down and kept it there. I was like, surely somebody had noticed and swapped it back by now. What day are the awards? Was it the first day, day one? Uh, yes. I, I assume so. It wasn't you? I don't think it was last night. It must have been the night before that I was watching the encore and this happened. Huh, that's odd. Yeah, it was on the know, first every, every day. day one for me, I'm trying to find the uh, the interview with Rush. It was really bad. Like they just cut him off partway through. I was like, oh, somebody's getting fired. Uh, and then they did it again later on with somebody else, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so Leave got his award. So nah, I do think they've done an amazing job all season, mm. but. That was somebody dropped the ball there in a big way. Mm. Poor Rush. Yeah, because I mean, like for EU, EU, EU viewers, like honestly, Encore's the only way for us to watch it, unless you're gonna watch the full nine-hour light vod of the live stream. Yeah, or you want to stay up till stupid o'clock. Yeah, I would have. But uh, I, I'm a working boy now. Well, yeah, if, if you don't work, then there is absolutely nothing stopping you from staying up and watching that. But mm. we all work, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's we're taxpayers. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> so uh, let's, look at, let, 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 let's look at the games that were coming up. And what's something to point out is that Pelican, if, he was to, if they had to get through cannot play against Shanghai. Ooh, ping. Because because of the ping, he's only allowed ping. to play NA. He, he's not in oh, Hawaii. No. He's on NA ping. No. He's on LA. So, correct me if oh, I'm wrong, so chat, so if you bad. know anything different, but uh, imagine Atlanta get through because of Pelican, who has been playing absolutely incredibly. And then they lose it because they can't have him. They're not winning that. They're not winning that duel with Shanghai. No. Without Pelican. Absolutely not. And even then, with Pelican, it could be a struggle. Okay, so I'm going to change my answer from earlier on. And even though I dislike the Atlanta Rain a lot more than the San Francisco Shock. Wait, what? I'm going to say I want Atlanta to go through. Because if Atlanta go through, they're probably not going to win. And I don't have no, to worry that's about true. the Shock getting the three-peat. That's true. So, I mean, we got that game tonight. San Francisco versus Atlanta. Like, that is a tasty game. It's a morsel. It's definitely a morsel. 
Um, I, I honestly don't know which way this could go. Because Atlanta are just always there. Like, they've been at most of the Cups this season. And, like, I wouldn't even say they've got a good team. Like, you look Atlanta at... Atlanta have been scary consistent, though, because they yeah. can't finish it. That, yeah, that's, they've got... A, I think the the their team is a prime example is that the sum is greater than the individuals. What's the saying? It's something like that. The sum of the parts are greater than the individual parts. Yeah, we'll go, you, you, we'll go you know what? That. You know what I mean? Like, that is Atlanta in a nutshell. However, you look at Shock and like, yeah, they're a great team. Obviously, they've won two, but they have so much pop-off potential. Glister's been doing very well in these playoffs. Like, oh, London... Why couldn't we have stuck with, like, Glister, Shui, Bernard, Clestine? Bernard's smile just made me happy. Sang Sanguinar as well. Like, that was, London had a really good team there, and they fucked it away. Nothing against the current lads, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> Not but squinting us on this massive rant. No. Absolutely I'm nothing against the current boys. Just. Yeah, Just but, that out there. but we missed the guys. We missed yeah. them all so much. Yeah, we barely, we barely got a chance to know them. Yeah. Which is a shame. But yeah, Gliss is popping off. Arguably, Super is holding his own on tank. Troy is doing Troy things. He got, what, a 5k bomb? Choice just being choice. Yeah, like, there's a reason the guy's a former Grand Finals MVP. Like... Well, who was it? It must have been against Philly. Who Choi. Lift hard the other day, though. Who? Super. On. I can't remember now. Um, who were it that diffed him? It was like leave it with me, and I remember. Right. It was something to do with uh, an echo duplicate, I think. But he got diffed pretty hard. Let me see who they played. Yeah. They've played Philly or Chengdu. Could have been Chengdu. Might have been Chengdu. Yeah. If I'm oh. wrong and somebody else knows the correct answer to that, please let me know because that's living in my head yeah. right now. And I but like, I, Shock, I would say on paper, should win. But in theory. Lan in theory, yeah. I think they've got the better players. They're not as versatile this year. They've more stuck to one composition. They're like, we're going to play... Uh, what is it? It's uh, Lucio Moira, typically. They're not... And that's what... And that's what, do, that's what does best for them. That's not even a sentence, is it? That's what works best for them? That's yeah. been working for them so far. We'll go yeah. 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 Yeah, because Violet on that uh, Moira has just been popping off. FD God comes in and does FD. Like, they they all come in and do their it's things. FD God things. Yeah. <laughs> Nero on the May is outrageous. And Nero I don't know. Terrifying. Yeah, like, I think we never really got to see or saw that. Saw, oh, fuck it. See that on the chart when he was on the charge. This is going so well. <laughs> you saw you saw glimpses of Nero's talent there, but nothing yeah. proper like that. He never really got a chance to pop off, did he? No. But when you look at the other side, there are some players who are playing out of their minds on Atlanta. Like, Kai's no slouch. That is true. Let me just say that first and foremost. Obviously, Rookie of the Year in Pelican is, like, insane right now. But not only that, is it Gator on D.Va? Hawk and Gator a... are like, they are such a formidable like, tank line. Atlanta's tank line is slapping. Like, yeah, I mean, they, it and works with them. That. It works with them. And then, what, on support, Marsa and Iris. Like, I, I've always rated Marsa as a very good Lucio player. Like. I think the support line's probably the, the weakest mm. 
out of all the roles for Atlanta, but even then, it's not what you'd consider weak, so... No. There you are... should give them a lot more credit, really. Yeah, I think this will come... D I think this will come down to the tanks. If Smurf, Super, and Troy can out-battle, out-wit uh, Gator and Hawk, then Shock will win. If not, Atlanta win. I think Choi can. Um, but I think that Gator and Hawk are a stronger duo. Mm. And I think that's what it's going to come down to, in okay. my opinion. No, I think that's fair. I think, yeah, because Violet is a very good support player, but I would say is more of an offensive support than a defensive support. And F F both of them as well. FD God as well. And Twilight. They're all very... They want to attack more they're than they want. very aggressive. Yeah. Which works with a shock. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, that will be a very interesting game. And then going into that, they have to... Whoever wins that then has to play Dallas immediately after. There's no respite. I mean, they'll be nice and warmed up by the time they go to Dallas. It depends but if I it goes five Dallas, maps. I think Dallas can outmatch both of those teams. Yeah. I don't I even think... see the point in having a series. Let's just <laughs> congratulate them both and send them on their way now. I think... And just do a Dallas-Shanghai final. For Dallas, you have to shut down Hanbin. If you can shut down Hanbin, you've got a shot. If not... Because you... I uh, was. I've been read, reading some coaching books. I read one about Bill Belichick. With the for the New England Patriots, and okay. <laughs> he like his philosophy is to take out the 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 str strength of the team and force them to do things they're uncomfortable with. Because I've grown up saying target their weaknesses because obviously they're weak. But uh, yeah, so target their strengths is what the great yeah. Bill Belichick says, and take I think out that's the strongest link in the chain will fall apart. Yeah, I would say. Hang on. I think we could determine that for all these three teams. Because Shanghai, it's everywhere. It could be any of them. Yeah, Shanghai don't have a strong dislink. <laughs> like, Shanghai aren't even a chain. Shanghai are one giant link. Yeah. So, <laughs> I... It's terrifying. Yeah. I would say, for Dallas, it's definitely Hanbin. Yes. For Atlanta, it's got to be Pelican, right? Obviously, Pelican. I'd put Gator at a very close second, mm. but yes. Yeah. Whose is it for the shock? Who is there like... Troy. You're Troy. saying Troy? 100%. It is Troy. Yeah. I was thinking Violet. Possibly Violet even is Nero. A very close second for me, but I would give it to Troy. Fair enough. Personally. I, I would... I, I'm t flipping between Troy and... um. The other one. Nero. That's who I said. You said like, Troy, Violet, and Nero. Yeah. Like, I think they are easily the strongest. Like, Glister's good. Or very good. But Nero makes... Especially on that May we've been seeing. Has made some incredible plays. To have turn fights. Cause, oh, who was it against? Washington. No. Did they play Washington? Uh, where's the pictures? Where's not the pictures? Here it is. No, it must have been. No, it was against Philly because um, it was on Nepal. Nero walled off and left Mano and Funny Astro behind the wall. Funny Astro beated, and sh um, but because of the wall, only Mano and Funny Astro got the beat. That and, sucks. Like that, and that's a, is a big player. I mean, the wall I think was up for a second or two before Funny Astro beated, so he must have done that to try and protect Mano. But I mean, it it, it didn't work out in the end. But uh, yeah, I think that's why Nero. So if you have to, if you have to pick a team of those three to go against Shanghai, who is it? not even a question it's dallas obviously dallas 
Why? Dallas is the only team out of those three that I can stand. Yeah, that's not a reason. I hate the other two. Why? Um, I think, just looking at the season, I think Dallas are the only ones with the strengths to be able to potentially beat Shanghai. Hmm. And my, my They've done it, haven't they? fan as well, so I might be a little bit biased. Have, have they beaten Shanghai this year? We partially been blue in this house. I'm trying to think, have Dallas beaten Shanghai yet? I want to say yes, but I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm grabbing the uh, season. I think the winner overall this season is going to be Shanghai. But if it comes down to a Dallas Shanghai final, as much as I've kind of fallen in love with APAC over the last couple of seasons, Dallas haven't won it yet. And I think it'd be the perfect way to end that cycle of misery. Right, They've I'm... already technically ended it, but it just it'd be the icing on the cake, right? Let me I, I've got the the uh, things up, so I'm gonna quickly just write down the current record between these two because obviously they only meet in a Where's a pen? <laughs> They only meet in like the tournament final, so I say like the pressure. Obviously, the pressure is more here because the prize yeah. instead of one hundred thousand, it's one point five million. Christ, that and bragging rights. Who doesn't love bragging rights? Yeah, oh yeah, that that's why they all do it for the bragging rights. So in the main melee, Dallas beat Shanghai twice. They beat them in the winners final and then beat them in the grand final. But then in the June joust, they beat them in the winner's bracket and then met them in the grand final. And that's when Shanghai came back for that m remarkable turnaround. So that's like, it's 3-1 at the moment in favor of Sh um, Dallas. The summer showdown. Dallas went, uh, didn't even play Shanghai. And then in the uh, Countdown Cup, the August altercation. <laughs> uh, Dallas weren't even there. Ooh, that's, that's... Ouch. But people are suggesting that they didn't want to make another travel trip to Hawaii. And that's they wanted to, to save their energy for the one they had to do for playoffs. So Dallas win it... Th have an overall 3-1 advantage against Shanghai. But I would argue this Shanghai team is looking so much better now than they did in the other tournaments. What are you looking at? What are you writing down? Well, Squiddy, it's very nice of you to ask. I am putting out a tweet on to our Twitter why why kelly why are you putting out a tweet on twitter midway through a live stream you might ask how dare you i see the judginess in your eyes well it's because we are doing a giveaway yes <gasps> a giveaway oh. wait, 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 <gasps> wait 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 hang on i'm gonna get a sound <laughs> effect oh god All right, all right, I'm ready. Okay. Go. We're doing a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. So stupid, but I love it. So, the giveaway is in honor of our MVPs this year. So obviously we have Lee from the Chengdu Hunters and we have Pelican from Atlanta Rain. So we have two canvases. We'll be giving away both of them. One in the spirit of the Chengdu Hunters and one in the spirit of the Atlanta Rain. So here is the Atlanta Rain. Ooh. Ooh. And, and here is the Chengdu Hunters. Ooh, very nice. I was thinking... Bitches. I was thinking... I. You can veto this if you want. But I have an idea. We could have give away one right now, right on this live stream. 
Okay. And then the other one, because this is going to be uploaded. This is going to be a VOD that's uploaded. People, you know how we did okay. the Cloudy Rain one? What was it? Cloudy with a yeah. Chance of Meatballs? No, that's the film. No, it's a film. Rain on your parade. Yeah, and how <laughs> we had people comment whatever. And we, got, we took people from that. We could yeah. give away the second one with that. And then boom, double content, easy peasy, squeeze those lemons. Okay. <laughs> Trying to find a way to word that in a tweet. <laughs> it's fine, we'll word it afterwards. People people listening to this will know exactly what I've just said. Okay. Okay. So don't put anything out yet is what you're saying. No, tweet it, tweet it. Yeah, we're giving. We are giving away one. Okay. Sorry, the idea just came to me. So. Like a dream. I get a epiphany. Yeah. So, to enter during the live stream, they have to do what? Not a clue. Chat with us on Twitch. Like, tell yeah. us your favorite, your favorite owl 2021 moment. Yeah, Preferably put it in the chat. 21. In our t in our Twitch chat right now, guys. Mm. And the, the one that makes us laugh the hardest. <laughs> you can pick either the Atlanta Rain or the Chengdu Hunters canvas. And because you'll be doing it during a live stream, you get first pick. Yeah, absolutely. And then for the second one, we'll have the same question, but as a comment in the YouTube video. Yeah. Boom. Easy. So hopefully you like the look of these posters that Kiwi painstakingly uh, did it. And look, I've already seen viewer numbers jump up. People are wanting these. And if it ain't the duo, <laughs> Hell yeah. welcome, welcome, welcome. Do you like our setup? We are live in the studio. But, the studio but, that we have oh, yeah. never been I, in. <laughs> I never mentioned it at the beginning all our port, all our content is brought to you in partnership with humble bundle as you can see Yay. on our next to their watch point bring the chaos Hell and yeah. also you can buy us a coffee if you want uh what do i say about humble bundle i know cam normally does this um do you like great games yes of course you do do you like great causes yes of course you do because you're a wonderful human being chef's kiss go to humble bundle and if you use our link I'm in doing it now. Window, you can be buying great games and supporting great causes like ourselves. Yeah. And then, <laughs> if you want and to help us out, you can put buy. You can buy us a coffee with the link I've just put in, and boom, the I, we have. What? I run off. I run off caffeine <laughs> at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. If if you don't want me to have the worst come down in history, click that link. Buy us a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Please. And we have our fav first favorite moment of the Owl 2021 20 season, and it's a uh, Chengdu winning Owl in, his, in in their brain. You know what? I support that. I support yeah, that. And I know you Chengdu would. Chengdu also won in my brain as well. Wait, should we They're have a time winning. limit? having a big celebration in the back of my brain. Should the time limit would be like 10 minutes before the end of the stream, right? Yeah, when are we ending the stream? Do we know? When did we start the stream? <laughs> uh, 42 minutes ago. So we'll say, we said about oh an hour, didn't we? God, yeah. We said about an hour. So that's what, 18 minutes. We'll go 15. 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. We'll announce the winner in 15 minutes. Yeah. At the moment, it is them by default. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So yes, get your favorite Owl 2021 moment. In our Twitch chat, would, to be in with you know a chance what? to win one of these campuses. Let, let, I mean, realistically, Shanghai should win this finals, right? Yeah. Like we have no argument. Like in I theory. want, I want Shock to win just so I am proven right in my predictions. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. You want? It's not. Dallas, or do you want Shanghai? I would be happy with either Dallas or Shanghai. I just, I just, just not shock or Atlanta. Two, just not shock or Atlanta. Right. I'm really not shock because I have run my mouth all season. That is true. You have. Saying how this three P isn't gonna happen. So, please. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> please make it a Shanghai Dallas final. That would be nice. Pride. 
I wish I could watch it. I mean, I start work at 11 a.m. the next day. Ooh, that's so rough. No, that's nice. No, not if it's early hours of the morning, it isn't. Oh, I just meant in general, because tomorrow I'm working starting at half nine. Oh. So, I like, could technically watch it, so I have all weekend off. I'm just really bad at staying awake. You have a nap beforehand. You have oh, something okay. that... Uh, coffee nap. So you have a, your coffee, you then settle down for your nap because it takes a caffeine a bit of time to get into your system, you know, make you jittery. And so you take your time, you have that nap, and when you wake up, boom, the caffeine's in your system. It's already like gone past the peak of like, okay. so you don't feel a come down. Okay, okay, I like that. So yeah, that's another reason for you to click that link and buy us a coffee. Yeah. yeah. I was, about to, I was about to say to support your drug habit. <laughs> <laughs> For legal reasons, that is a joke. Kiwi is not on drugs. For legal reasons, caffeine is a drug. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not addicted. I can stop anytime I want. <laughs> <laughs> the Chengdu content is actually... Actually, yeah. What, what ki Kiwi, what was your favourite moment of the Overwatch League? Um, I've got a few, um, and they're all very, very different. So if I was to go with a serious, like, heartwarming moment, um, then I loved Milan Ran eating a banana. <laughs> I love Milan Ran all this season. Because, obviously, and his hair is just, he's got amazing hair. I am, anytime Banar smiled on player cam, mm. I loved that. Um... Every time Soul got a reverse sweep, that filled my heart with joy. Every time the shock lost. Fair enough. <laughs> but that I think feels... my favourite moment was the unveiling of Danny Lim and his Hawaii persona. <laughs> I love Danny Lim's Hawaii persona. I love how his hair's just gone longer throughout this season as well. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... Are they allowed Danny, to... Danny Lim has been my favourite part. Are they allowed haircuts? I'm not sure. <laughs> Why would they not be allowed haircuts? I don't know. I, honestly, I don't <laughs> know. They might. They might. They might not. I'm not sure. I mean, he's um, always had a haircut. Like, why can't? <laughs> true. I don't know. Anyway, I think my one of my favourite moments was actually like the introduction of the East content. Like in terms of no, well, yeah, actually, like the fun the casters were having, like ZP. And Doa, like, what was it, like, going into each other because of the green screen and stuff, like, putting their hands inside of each other. That was quite fun. Honestly, that's that's what happened on the East broadcast. I mean, you watched him. Yeah, I, I watched <laughs> two grown men pretend to feel each other up and call yeah. it work. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. But actually, I think one of the things that I think may be underrated is the lo-fi that Overwatch League has been doing this yes. year. Like, oh, oh my god, yeah. If you didn't know, that's what we're listening to in the background right now. <laughs> but, uh, it's, 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 like, as soon as they started doing, like, those panoramic shots, I mean, that's another thing I'm going to get onto. But, like, to fill the gaps... It's just been so nice and refreshing. Like, to be able to see details of maps you wouldn't otherwise see or look at. It's been a lot of fun. And also, the new camera perspective they've done, especially in the East broadcast, I, I find them. Yeah. And now, with, it's... The only way I could describe it is, like, cinemata cinematographic? No. Topography. Yeah. Like, it looks... it's a turn of player cams. Yes! That Without was the return of player cams, we would have never got Milan Ran eating a banana. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I think, like, they've definitely stepped it up massively this season. And, yeah. I mean, next season, obviously, we're on Overwatch 2. I've seen one person uh, in our chat, not on our Twitch chat, but in our Discord, saying that they want, as rewards for watching, the owl, you get beta drops for Overwatch 2. Ooh, that is, yes, that, 
that could be that could breathe life back into your voice mm. too that'd be yeah that'd be pretty cool and i i wonder what format they're gonna do for next season because vaccinations have been going up massively but covid is still very much a big thing but we've seen in the yeah. uk the return of uh full spectator events i mean you went to what was it sheffield whatever the yeah, hell they're called to- Steelers. I Steelers. Ice hockey. Yeah. I was going to call but them the, the Oilers. In the, the Sheffield Oilers. Yeah. When Sheffield were known for steel, not oil. All right. But in America as well, they've recently done the return of pro wrestling. So if they're already doing that and they're already having capacity crowds in these venues for that, there's no reason they couldn't do the same thing for esports. So we're already mm. starting to see sporting events in Europe. We're seeing them already. We've been having homestands in China. the East. So there's no reason why we wouldn't get them. Even at a reduced capacity, I can't see a problem unless we have a massive wave. Yeah, that's the only Which, issue. Please, no. <laughs> yeah. Unless Nothing that worth. happens, I can't see why um, there wouldn't be... There wouldn't be live events. But... To be fair, I don't mind how it's been. I, I quite like They've it. Done good. the production game, yeah. They've done good. Um, yeah, I think it would have been... It could be that they have, uh, like, the, the cup finals as a homestand. I, I think that's the way to do it. Like, have it LAN. Mm. Have a week... Have like have the playoffs as to who gets in because it's like two from the east, two from the west. Give like a week for people to fly to wherever they need to. Have the event, have a week break. Come back. Come and then go again. Like good way to eliminate jet lag. Yeah. And in case there's like any particular issues on a COVID restrictions, because that that's that's what halted grand finals this year, unfortunately. People aren't allowed to go to America, really. Yeah. yeah. America goes to everybody. Yeah. And uh, before we move on to whatever we're going to move on to, you've got about, what is it? Five? No. Eight minutes. Seven minutes. An amount of time before... Not very long. Not very long to <laughs> enter into our competition to win a lovely poster. Kiwi, if you want to show them off. And all you have to do is let us know in the comments, in the Twitch chat, what your favourite Overwatch League moment is. And the one that makes us laugh the most is the one that wins. And you get first pick of which poster you want. They are very good. I'd have to go with the Chengdu one. How did you do the, uh, the heroes? How did I do them? Yeah. I drew them. They look like stencils. And then I painted them. They look like stencils. They look that good. No, I make templates on paper first. So ah. I, draw it, I draw it on paper so that I'm happy with it. And then I trace around the outside and then just fill in the... Fill in the ah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm tempted to get a screen like yours for, for me. Maybe not that one. But, like, what should I get on the back of mine? Should I have, like, Chaos Void logos all over it? A I feel like yours needs to be covered in cats. In cats? I'm not that big. Yeah. Oh, no. I was about to say I'm not that big on cats. I've got cat ears. Yeah, you're cat is. Chaos Void's resident cat boy. So, yeah. That's fair. It needs to be covered in cats. Or the Chaos Void logo. That would work as mm. well. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be interesting this th- like this season like the grand finals obviously but also looking forward to overwatch 2 especially with only five players who's gonna be like what's what do i want to say the transfer market is going to be absolutely incredible for uh, this postseason because who's gonna who's gonna only want one tank like you can more or less reduce your numbers by half. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't need a 12-man roster anymore. I think a 10-man roster is what you need. 
I reckon Chengdu are going to keep that ridiculously large roster. I mean, arguably, they have a 24-man roster with Team Chaser. And I'm living for it. You you keep doing Chengdu things, Chengdu. Because yeah, it's working. It better than you. And the Chinese market for like lower tier, like tier two Overwatch, is massive compared to Europe and um, America. Like the um, viewership numbers are like in the hundreds of thousands for contenders. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So they're gonna be making money from it. So maybe uh, Western teams should put, get create a team and move them over to the Korean Chinese region. You mean like the LA Valiant? Yeah, but not the actual <laughs> Overwatch League team. Keep the Overwatch League team, but put the Overwatch Contenders team. Yeah, yeah. In one of those other regions to get just I'm get the viewership. I'm actually really excited to see how many players get drafted in from Contenders next season, and I'm really excited to see what happens to the current roster of the LA Valiant. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm sure we're going to be covering that in the future. I'm really excited to see that. Like, yeah, I, I wish, I wish all of them, particularly Moran, Milan ran all the best. Like, mm. he needs to be in the season next season, please, pretty please. I'm trying to think who else. No, I mean, I was about to say who else could be in next season, but I think that's a whole podcast in itself where we talk about. <laughs> yeah, that's a who whole could... stream on yeah. its own, guys. All right, so what? Give me one thing. Apart from the winner, that you want to see this finals weekend? I want to see some desk shenanigans. Desk shenanigans? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, you that? know, like when it used to be in the Blizzard Arena and, like, all of a sudden, Reinforce would turn up dressed like Gandalf and things yeah. like that. I want to see some desk shenanigans, something like that, because they're all amazing people on the desk. Like, what fair. I don't want to see is any C9s. I don't want any. None. <laughs> None whatsoever. Fair enough. Um, I obviously, you want whatever teams are in the finals to pop off. And I've got a feeling it's going to be Dallas and Shanghai. So I have absolutely no doubt that the match itself is going to be really exciting. Fair enough. I, I mean... What do you want? Uh, I don't know. It's a hard question. It is, yeah. <laughs> nope, that doesn't work. I'm, I'm trying to put a timer on the screen. Hang on, I think I'm going to have to have add a display capture for the countdown of when the, the thing shuts. There we are. So we're going to... Uh, oh, no, this is... Shanghai 4 Salad Nil. What? <laughs> Who's salad? Oh, how do I transform it? Transform. Edit transform. I'm so confused. What are you doing? I am. Dallas, not salad. Oh! <laughs> I the idea of Shanghai fighting with a salad. I mean, I read salad, so salad it is. It did say salad. It yeah, that's... Corrected. I'm I'm sorting out a timer right now for the screen for the chat for the for the thing. It's, it's beautiful. Do you see the timer? Yes. I'm How can it. I miss it? It takes off the <laughs> screen. <laughs> it's half it's your face. <laughs> I have become a timer. There we go. Look. Hey. <laughs> there we go. We got a nice timer there. That's actually right pretty over sick. my face. All right, no, it's at the it's at the bottom left now. Right, I'm gonna. Should I set it? Are we ready? Three Good. minutes to go. Three, there we are. It's counting uh, down. Off it goes. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get the countdown clock ready for the last thirty seconds. Oh god. This is what happens now. We have a live podcast. I want a oh, soundboard. You need a stream deck and a soundboard. Yeah, I want a soundboard. That, uh... Yeah, for, any, for anyone watching this who isn't already in our Discord as well, if you want more things like this, 
more like-minded people who are into gaming, esports, Overwatch, League of Legends, whatever we want to throw at you, join our Discord. It is a wonderfully chaotic place to be, full of some amazing people and us. So, yeah. Come say hello. We don't bite. I think yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I mean, this stream has kind of proved how chaotic this can be. I mean, the desk setup we have, like, I think, honestly, it's not that bad. I quite like it. Yeah, it's same. It's on me. But I think that's because I saw how proud of it you were. <laughs> <laughs> that's I fair. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let him have this moment. <laughs> I am. I'm really proud of it. Like, it, it looks really crap, but funny at the same time. And you got a minute and 30 seconds to go. Nearly there. So yes, yeah, so if you haven't, if you've joined the chat after we announce this, we are doing a giveaway for one of these two wonderful Overwatch League canvases. If you want to be the first to be able to claim one of these, all you need to do is put your favorite Overwatch League 2021 moment in the chat in the next minute and what, 10 seconds? Yeah, yeah. one minute. A minute and... Then and Whichever one we like the most, we will pick, and you get first dibs on one of these canvases. Yeah, we have uh, 30 seconds left to go. So, yeah. There is a bit of a lag between what I see the timer as and the uh, chat, so there will be a grace period yeah. after. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm excited to watch the uh, highlights of these uh, grand finals because I won't be able to watch them live. <laughs> Oh no, I might I be could, able. To... But I don't think I'm going to. Although no, I might be able to watch the VOD. To be honest. Yeah, I watched last season's grand final in a gaming bar in Sheffield, and I loved it. It was amazing. Um, I'm very disappointed that I can't watch this grand final in a bar. The countdown clock has started. It was a lot of fun. So you have until the countdown clock ends. Your favorite owl moment doesn't need to be a long one. Pop it in for a chance to win one of these canvases. Da -da -da. <gasps> oh my god, that's what we need to do. We need to do Chaos Void Countdown. Oh yes. Oh yeah, we're doing it. A double delay. Delay on the squeeze clock to stream and then on delay on the stream clock to see it when we see it. Well, it's done. Delayception. It's all done. The cock is done. And, uh, <sighs> well, we only had one entry. <laughs> <laughs> well, well hold on, Benny. Ooh, wait, how do I have a cheering sound? Wait, cheering sound. Cheering sound effect crowd. Yeah. <laughs> and there will be another chance to win whichever one they don't pick. There Simply by going onto our YouTube when this VOD is uploaded and commenting again what your favourite moment from Al 2021 is on that VOD. We will give you about a week on that one. Check back in about a week's time. Yeah. And uh, we will be announcing the winner on our Twitter. It won't be us deciding, it will go to our moderators team. Our yes. wonderful mods, they will be picking the winner of this one. So yes. Our first piece of art from my uni halls. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's adorable. Which one would you like, my dear? I think oh, I yeah. can already guess, but... <laughs> Which one would you like? Just wait here for the delay. I'm just waiting. Waiting for life. If you didn't me. notice, me and Kiwi are wearing exactly the same top. Yeah, profit as well. Oh, mine's backwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look backwards to me. No. Oh, doesn't it? It's backwards to me. It's backwards on my stream. Oh, wait, it might be because mine's backwards as well. No, yours is I the know, right way. Yours looks forward to me. <laughs> oh, I mean, mine's backwards. Yours is right to me, but mine yeah. is wrong to me, which means it's wrong for the... But oh. so is mine. So mine's backwards to me, but right to you. So. Yeah. But we we have a choice. A choice has been made. And hey. they will be taking home this wonderful Chengdu Farah. Yeah. There is a funny story behind this as well, which we might message you. <laughs> Privately, 
<laughs> so we can say it. Sharing the funny, the funny story on stream. Wait, what? Unless Squiddy wants to be uh, publicly shamed. I was busy when you asked it. Like when you asked it. Right. So Kiwi <laughs> message like, who did um? I even gave you the correct answer first, but you went with the father. Yeah, only because it was easier to draw. <laughs> So, Kiwi put in our chat, it's like, oh, what does, um... Thank you for the sub, Red. What does, um, Lee What's play Lee's for... signature hero? And what, I put what, Tracer, what, what, or yeah. maybe Farah. Yeah. Because when I, I think of Chengdu... It was easier to draw. When, when you think of Chengdu, they play the Tracer Farah compositions. But obviously, it's Jinmu on that Farah. And I was like at work and something. I saw it went, oh. Uh, but, I, but I gave you Tracer. You chose not to go with it and then not to you check it. To and not to check it yourself. So. No, to be fair, I made the same mistake you did. Except I did it live on our Golden Spanners. And I said, Jinmu uh, Jin Farah. Did I say Jinmu Farah? I think I said leave Farah. In that as well. So, like, I see where you get confused. Like, yeah. The, the Chengdu MVP and Farah being, like, one of the Chengdu picks. Yeah. It's easy to get them confused. But, but I mean, yeah, it's I still, it still, it still works. Like, as a, as a piece of art, I think. It does work as a piece of art. Yeah, it's very nice. But we now have this one. This Atlanta Rain artwork that we will be giving away. All you have to do, if you do want to be entered into that, comment on the YouTube VOD of this stream when it goes up. You have a week to do it with your favorite Owl 2021 moment, and we will throw all the answers to our mods team, and they will pick the best one. All right. Um, yeah. Is there anything else we want to say? I mean, final one. Grand finals winner. Go. Shanghai. You took a long my time. Brain, my brain says Shanghai, my heart says Dallas. Like I said, we partially burn blue in this house, so. That's, that's fair. Mine is shock. I believe in a three peat. But uh, yeah, uh, until next time, you can follow us at We Are Chaosroid on Twitter, on Instagram, and on TikTok as well, where you get to see some great highlights. And until next time, everyone, stay chaotic. <laughs>